Welcome to the Midmark Multi-Parameter Monitor Quick Start Guide video. You will learn how to set up the monitor for use, including how to admit a patient and use best practice features. Always refer to the user guide for the most complete instructions and safety alerts before using your monitor. Inside the monitor box, you will find a brown carton. This contains the user guide, monitor power cord, visualizer USB, and accessories. Let's begin with the printer. On the right side of the monitor is the printer panel. Open the printer compartment. Insert a roll of paper with the paper coming off the bottom of the roll. Pull enough paper from the roll so it hangs over the door once the door is closed. On the back of the monitor, plug the visualizer USB drive into the USB port and attach the power cord. To turn on the monitor, locate the power button on the left side of the monitor and press it. Once on the main display, select the patient icon on the status bar to enter new patient data. If you need to discharge an existing patient, select Discharge Patient, then select Yes on the pop-up box. This will clear out previous patient information before you admit a new patient. Next, enter your new patient information. The patient ID is required to use the Midmark Anesthetic Record Interface. Press OK to save the information. Each time a new patient is admitted, the on-screen pre-procedure checklist will display. To set up a custom user, select Menu, select Displays, then select the User icon box, select Create User, then select Patient Type. A new user profile will appear. Select Edit for New User. Select My Alarms or My Display to customize alarm or display settings. To view Patient Trend Data, select the menu, then Trends. Data can be viewed in Tabular, Graphic, or NIBP views. Now the accessories can be connected, starting with the ECG. First, connect the lead wires to the ECG cable, matching the color-coded dots. Next, slide the alligator clips onto the end of the lead wire posts. Then plug the cable into the ECG port located on the side of the monitor. To connect the ECG lead wires to the patient, apply redux gel to the alligator clips or directly to the patient. Then, connect the alligator clips to the patient. Place the white lead on the right foreleg, the black lead on the left foreleg, and the red lead on the left rear leg. To turn on the ECG catalog, Press the ECG waveform, find ECG catalog, and press on. To return to the main screen, press the X in the upper right, select menu, then displays. Select a display with four or more channels to show the ECG catalog. To connect the SPO2 sensor, plug the sensor wire into the SPO2 cable and close the clear cover. Next, gently slide the sensor pads into the appropriately sized clip. On the port side of the monitor, plug the SPO2 cable into the SPO2 port. To connect the SPO2 sensor to the patient, clip the sensor to the patient's tongue, lip, toe, ear, prepuce, or vulva.
To set up non-invasive blood pressure, connect the black inflation hose to the NIBP port on the side of the monitor. Connect the blood pressure cuff that is appropriately sized for your patient. Connect the cuff to the patient. Next, open the NIBP menu by pressing the NIBP section. Set cuff size using the small settings for cuffs 1 through 5 and the large setting for cuffs 8 and 10. The interval settings can be used to take automatic readings at desired time periods. To initiate blood pressure measurement, press the NIBP button on the monitor touchscreen. To turn on the NIBP screening mode, press and hold the screen BP icon. The word screen will appear in the NIBP box to show the screening mode is enabled. Your monitor will automatically take five readings, remove the outlier, and return an average of the systolic diastolic, and mean arterial pressure. Each time the monitor is restarted, the NIBP Best Practices Reminder will be displayed. To set up temperature, plug the temperature probe into either the Temp1 or Temp2 port on the side of the monitor. The temperature probe may be used in the patient's esophagus or rectum. If a CO2 module was purchased, it must be activated and zero calibrated in the menu. Press Menu, select Settings, select Modules, expand the drop-down option next to CO2, and select Mossimo or Respironics. To shut down the monitor, press the X in the upper right-hand corner and select OK. Turn the monitor back on by pressing the power button. Next, gently insert the appropriately sized adapter or filter line into the CO2 sensor. Plug the CO2 cable into the CO2 port on the side of the monitor. Allow the sensor to warm up and then start the zero calibration. Press Settings, select Parameter Setup select CO2 setup, and press Start Zero Calibration. After successful zero calibration, the sensor is now ready to attach to the patient. Weekly, the CO2 Soda Lime Absorbent Reminder will display providing best practice reminders on replacing CO2 absorbent. Turn on the CO2 catalog, press on the CO2 waveform, find CO2 catalog, and press on. To display the CO2 catalog, return to the main screen by pressing X in the upper right hand corner and select the NIBP history box. To view the alarm center, select the alarm bar reset or pause the alarm, or navigate to the parameter setup or technical alarm troubleshooting guide. You're now ready to use your new multi-parameter monitor. Thank you for choosing Midmark as your trusted partner in vital signs monitoring. For more detailed information about your monitor, refer to the Midmark multi-parameter monitor user guide. For other assistance, contact Midmark Clinical Support.